This is one of the most sensitive and secretive places in the country, the Defence Science and Technology Lab at Port and Dan. ITV News has been granted rare access to the site to hear about the work being done here on coronavirus. At the heart of Port and Dan is the high containment facility, a building so sensitive we are asked not to film parts of its exterior. Inside, Professor Tim Atkins shows us around. And this is the, the area where we handle our high hazard pathogens. Those are pathogens such as anthrax and plague, uh, and of course SARS-CoV-2, which is the causative agent of COVID-19. Some of the most deadly pathogens in the world are housed here. In this lab, they are working with live Ebola samples. The air pressure inside is kept lower than in the corridor, so that if there is an accident, anything dangerous should be blown back in. But natural pathogens aren't the only lethal substances at Port and Dan. We're unique in the United Kingdom because we're the only organisation that can make nerve agents. When you say make, what sort of scale are you talking about? So we're talking about small scale manufacture of um, chemicals that we then study in the laboratory and that we can use, for example, to confirm that our detection systems work effectively against that material. Do they ever leave this site? No. But they have been brought in. When the former Russian agent Sergei Skripal and his daughter were poisoned, it was DSTL scientists that identified the nerve agent Novichok. Defence is about delivering not only for today, but always thinking one step ahead. The same place that was involved in detecting the uh, GRU's use of nerve agent Novichok, the same place that for many years kept us safe from other uh, problems with chemical weapons, at the heart, that, that knowledge, that experience helps underpin the science and the future response to this COVID outbreak. Today, the containment labs are looking at a more familiar problem, coronavirus. Here, they're researching disinfectants and how easily the virus transfers between surfaces. Scientists like Amanda Phelps adding a new virus to the already daunting array of infections they study. I mean, do you feel a little bit nervous if you're opening a new canister of something you haven't worked with before? Or, or is the training just something that takes over and, and you don't really feel that? No, I'd say there is sometimes um, a level of um, more anticipation, excitement, I would say, rather than a concern for safety because our training, our engineering controls are just absolutely 100% um, and we have lots of layers. So there's lots of um, opportunities for other layers to come in should one layer fail. So if anything of, goes wrong, it'll be caught by the next it's layer. It's fail safety. safe. It's fail safe, absolutely. Some of the most dangerous substances in the world are studied in these labs from Ebola to bubonic plague. Coronavirus isn't as lethal as those. The problem with coronavirus is it is highly transmissible. So the latest research here involves catching it early, using the data from commercially available technology. We're talking about these sorts of technologies. So this is a, a watch and inside it's got a number of sensors. So it will measure things like heart rate and, and, and those sorts of things, blood, blood oxygen level. Uh, it'll measure movement. We use all of that information really to build a, a picture and look for those patterns in individuals who may go on and develop, in this case, COVID-19. So the data from this technology might be able to tell you somebody's becoming ill before they even know it themselves. So we think there's, there's the potential to do that. This project is in its early stages. So that work will continue after coronavirus has left the headlines as the scientists at Port and Don continue their research into the deadly pathogens they can talk about openly and the nerve agents and other man-made substances about which they must be more discreet. Carl Dinan, ITV News, Port and Dan.